want to take you through a brief discussion of the final elements of our research project, which are the abstract and tweet. Okay. So let's start here with the abstract. A couple basics about the abstract. First of all, we want to talk about what it is, um, but let me just give you a couple um, headline ideas about the abstract. First of all, it's a maximum of 150 words, which means it's going to be about half the length of your introduction. Okay, so um, it's going to do some of the job of your introduction but it is um, going to be significantly shorter than the intro. I always try to break down the abstract into three key elements of what a good abstract should contain. An abstract, of course, is basically a synopsis of your argument. It's an overview of the argument. And it also provides a hook. Um, the abstract is the first thing your reader is going to see. So you want an abstract that encourages them to read more, where you are clear about what the stakes are in your study um, and what the payoff is from your results. So here's the way I like to think of an abstract. Three basic elements. Basic, first of all, state the problem you're investigating and what's at stake in this problem? Now, this gentleman is basically a restatement of your research question. Of course, you're not stating it as a question. But you're also emphasizing another aspect of the research question, which is namely, what's at stake? Why does it matter? So what? Right? You want to, the abstract is a great place along with your introduction, but the abstract is the first place where you can really hook your reader and tell them, this is what's at stake in my approach. Um, and if I can get results, here's what I'm going to answer and, and solve. Okay? So that's the first step. Step two is to describe your approach to the problem. Okay? How are you investigating the problem? This includes discussion of the methodology you're using, which could be formalism, historicism, Marxism, feminism, you know, whatever it is you're using as part of your critical theory approach. And then secondly, along with your methodology, you need to make clear what is the evidence that you are going to consider and treat. Um, a lot of students will leave the primary sources out of the intro, or out of the abstract, excuse me. I think that's a big mistake. You want your primary sources to be mentioned in the abstract. You want the reader to know exactly what's coming um, if they decide to read the full paper. All right, and lastly, uh, you want to describe the results of your research. And when you're describing the results, this is basically, this is where you state your thesis. The thesis is your result of your argument, okay? So, one way I like to think about these three parts of the argument is, you know, if you think about them as roughly equivalent, well, then each part should be about 50 words. 50 words stating what the problem is and what's at stake. 50 words stating <clears throat> your approach to the problem. And finally, 50 words stating the results. Okay, so 
that is all an abstract needs to be. Now, I've also shown you a couple abstracts uh, along with full-length research papers on our uh, Canvas page. And let me just, um, <clears throat> excuse me, let me just flip over to those briefly to uh, give you an idea here of what these should look like and how you can format them. Okay, because the formatting for the abstract is slightly different than what you might be used to seeing. Okay. All right, take a look at this abstract. So first of all, obviously it's missing the student's name because I cleared that out. But what you have is normal MLA heading. You give the full title of the paper, right? Right before the abstract, you give the full title and then you single space the abstract. And that's what we have here, okay? And then you put a page break in and you start your paper. You don't need to repeat the MLA heading. You start your paper on page two. Um, like I said, without an MLA heading, without a restatement of the title, you just go right here. Now this student, he also put his uh, tweet um, in this big blank space you see down here, but I deleted that because I wasn't able to block out his name from the tweet. Okay, let's take a look at sample two, which shows something similar. Okay, so sample two, you see he gives his full title here, MLA heading. He gives the abstract, and then starting on page two of his paper, he just indents once, and the paper starts right there. Okay? Some of the form issues that are on this paper, like the fact that it's centered in some of these paragraphs instead of uh, left indent or left lined, that's just because of the way I exported it, so don't pay attention to that. Okay, but that's what you're looking at for your MLA um, format for the abstract for the full paper. And you will put a screenshot of your tweet right in here. Okay, last thing I'll do is I'm going to show you uh, what the tweets can look like. And you are welcome to tweet at me. You can tweet at Hard Rain. That is, of course, a Dylan reference. Um, so I go over here to my notifications. I go to my mentions. One thing you guys... It's quiet. Out of here. One thing you guys will notice is that in my mentions, uh, there is a nightclub in Japan. I'm not sure where in Japan, but there's a nightclub in Japan called Hard Rain. And so all these people are tweeting at me. They're not really tweeting at me. They're tweeting about this club Hard Rain. And they seem to have some pretty amazing stuff going on here. Look at this. Cat Ate Hot Dogs was playing uh, a few weeks back. So that actually that's about a year ago. But in any case, let's look at some of these tweets. Now these are all public. So I don't feel bad about uh, putting them up here. Um, Will Jackson had a really interesting one where he made a meme. Uh, I think that's a something, I don't know what that is, honestly. Um, Finbar McOsker had one with uh, Winnie the Pooh and I can't remember who that little guy is, Piglet. Um, which one did I want to show you? Because there's a, oh, here's a funny one about... Uh, Tristan Mortimer did this a year ago. Um, pointer after he took Holga's leg, right? And there's an M&M there, and he says, you good? And she's down there saying, no. <laughs> I can't say I understand everything that's going on with these. Um, this one's pretty funny to me. This is Aiden Osterman's. Uh, we should... <laughs> Okay, again, I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it's kind of clever. Um, 
Here's a uh, Finbar McOscar. Uh, let's see. Here's a good Evelyn one. I have a PhD in philosophy. You have a PhD in baloney. Literally everyone smacking Holga across the face. That's pretty clever. Um, oh, here's a good one. Again, I'm not sure exactly what the... Oh, here we go. Ramsey giving us a uh, Drake taking private transportation that destroys familial bonds. And Drake is pushing that away. Uh, but he is pretty happy about taking public transportation with a communal environment that fosters equality. Okay? So, the tweet, guys, the idea here is you just want to um, be able to express your paper in this short, manageable format that Twitter and memes offer. Here's a Christian Zeta one. Just released a new fire paper discussing physical violence as invulnerability to the philosophical challenges of deconstruction and nostalgic escapism. Some pretty violent stuff. Hash, hashtag not for the faint of heart. Hashtag R-rated academia. And here is his tweet. Meme. Holga's nihilistic deconstruction. I think that's Thor. The absolute truth inherent in violence is conclusive finality. I'm not sure who that guy is, but he's doing damage on Iron Man and Captain America. And then there's the grandmother's ignorant Manichaean moral righteousness, which has something to do with the Hulk. Okay, so those are some examples. You are well, more than welcome to go at Hard Rain and check my mentions. Um, you can also see what's going on in the clubs in Osaka. Oh, here's Cat Ate Hot Dogs. These guys have really brought the fire. Um, so that is, in fact, something special there, too. Okay, so back to uh, the paper here. Um, we now know what we need to do with our abstract and tweet. We now know the basic expectations and requirements, the basic format, and we are good to go. All right, gentlemen, good luck to you working on this, and I am out. If I can find a way to...